to another episode of Inspiring Youth. I'm your host, Bruce Elbridge, and today we are going to take a look at the arts. We are going to talk to young illustrator Marina Tesker, and we're going to take a tour of the Huey Park Community and Cultural Center. Uh, it's passionate about it's art, because art is really what I feel the most strong about. It's really what I like to know. Um, yeah, now one of the areas that is close to my heart, because I'm a visual artist, I'm a cartoonist, so having visual arts studios. So tell us some of the things available to visual artists, because I know they can rent the studios. Is there any other programs for visual artists? Yes, yeah, so um, there's various things that you can do here. So the town does program um, art classes, um, various art classes for children, for youth, for adults, for seniors, and that's in our program guide. But the spaces are also available for daily rental or rental by the hour. We also have a studio membership here, okay. which we gear towards artists who work independently, who already have a practice, yeah. who don't necessarily need to come and take a ceramics class to right. access the facility. They can actually take out a monthly membership and come and go and use the facility um, as, as they need. Right, and then the other arts are also available, like performance arts. And you guys have a whole stage set up. I know we've been in there for cookies. You and I share cookies once in a while. Yes. I won't leave that alone, though. <laughs> so, so tell us about the performance art stages. For yes, yeah, so we have a black box theater, and that was originally um, intended for this space. Right. So, um, yes, this was a high school, and the footprint of the high school was not changed, yeah. but we did change the interior spaces and purpose-built spaces for arts and cultural groups needs. Right. So there is a black box theater, which is, you know, it, it's a black box. It's yeah. painted completely black, right. um, but it's also very flexible. So there's staging that can be put together or dismantled. There's seating that's all yeah. movable, um, really great curtains that can be wrapped around the space if required. There's a sound system in there, a technician that can also um, run the space. Yeah. So various groups use that space. So we have dancers, we have improv, we have um, lectures, we have film screenings. So there's lots of different things. And I think that's what's quite special about the QEP spaces is that they're all quite flexible for the needs of various groups yeah. that can access them.